What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we take a look at 5 things you didn't know about UFC Fight Island. Be sure to like today's video and to subscribe. Also comment down below letting me know that you subscribe so that you can automatically be entered into this month's shoutout giveaway. Coming in at number 1 we have Valentina Shevchenko. Valentina loves Fight Island so much that he even stated that he wants to live there. Crazy huh? Man, the island must be beautiful. Hey, maybe after this coronavirus stuff leaves, some of us may go get to see it for ourselves. Coming in at number 2 we have George Masvidal. George Masvidal is yet another fan of the island, and he expressed his thoughts on the island as well. However, George kept it short and sweet and gave his impression of the island in only two words, and that was, it's crazy. Needless to say though, George and Valentina aren't the only ones loving the island. The fans, myself included, seem to really like it as well. Some have even compared Fight Island to popular video game Mortal Kombat and have compared Dana White to Shang Tsung. Coming in at number 3 we have Precautions. The UFC is pretty well known for making sure that their fighters are top notch before allowing them to compete. And when it comes to this new Fight Island, things aren't going to be any different. In fact, they may be even better because there are going to be 17 dedicated medical personnel and 3 medical facilities on the island. The fighters will then be tested 3 times during the build up to a fight to make sure they're okay to fight. All of this is going to solely be to combat the coronavirus and avoid spreading it around the UFC. Dana White has already conducted over 2,000 tests on various fighters in the UFC in hopes that they can continue these fights while less not spreading the virus to other fighters and their families. Coming in at number 4 we have safety protocols. Even more precautions and safety protocols that are going to be enforced on the island is that all fighters must wear their masks for as long as possible. This includes during weigh-ins and press conferences. Also everyone must remain more than 6 feet apart at all times, unless you're one of the fighters in the ring of course, because it's kind of hard to fight your opponent from 6 feet away. Also the fighters will be required to have their temperature checked multiple times throughout the night before their big fight. All of these safety protocols and precautions being enforced is solely for the safety of the fighters and the fans and have to be put in place if we want to continue seeing these fights during the pandemic. Coming in at number 5 we have The Journey. It is incredible the amount of people who have tried stopping Dana White from making Fight Island. The list goes on and on. However Dana White is quite the businessman and doesn't let anyone hold him back once he has his mind set on something. Dana however has had some struggles getting the whole Fight Island thing to happen. But that is life. There is nothing you're going to do in life without having bumps in the road. Dana White however has pretty much overcome these obstacles and it looks like the Fight Island thing is going to happen at last. Are you guys as pumped to see some of these fights about to go down on Fight Island as we are? Let us know in the comments below. 